Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Game of Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we're back in our little uh, crash landing base. Uh, apparently, this is where we died last time, so we'll just quickly delete that. Good stuff. And I've done a couple of things since last episode. I have spent most of my time over at this cobblestone generator over here, getting myself a bunch of cobblestone. I've got 39. I also made this guy down here. It's an obsidian shovel. I actually broke it by getting uh, all this dust up here. And the reason I got that is so that we can start sifting through stuff to get more of these so that we can get ourselves uh, a bunch more of this uh, pulverized ore. And you'll see why we want that stuff in just a moment. But the first thing that I want to do today is I want to get myself a smeltery from Tinker's Construct because if we have a look into the quest book, the next quest on the list is this one here, or multiplication. And for that, we need a smeltery controller, a smeltery tank, seared bricks, a faucet, and a smeltery drain. And if we can make a, uh, a just a smeltery in general in the process, it means that as the quest suggests, we can start doubling our ores, which is pretty flipping cool. So how are we going to do this? We are going to use our hammer that we got from uh, one of the quests. Actually, no, we didn't. We made it, didn't we? We're going to use our hammer and we're going to break down some cobblestone. So in order to make uh, the smeltery, we need, I'll just press R on here. We need seared bricks and seared bricks are made from smelting grout, which is made from um, gravel, sand and clay. Now, gravel and sand, I showed you at the end of the last episode, we can get by just throwing down some cobblestone, breaking it gets us gravel, and then putting that down and breaking it again, we'll get a sand. So we could throw you there, do that again, and that gets a sand. But now, how do we get clay? We have a little bit of it around here, so we can grab the rest of this if we really want to take you, and that gets a little bit of stuff. Let's just get our way out of here. Uh, we'll use wood. <laughs> So that gets a little bit, but if you want to get an, a nice amount of, uh, of clay, what we've got to do is we've got to use water. We can put water into this barrel, add some dust to it, like this. Uh, some dust, not some sand. Uh, this guy, throw you in there, and that gets us a full block of clay, which is pretty cool. So we are going to have to go and make ourselves a lot more water. Now, the good thing is, at the end of last episode, we figured out, or power through last episode, we figured out that we can use... Oh, <laughs> Jeez, we figured out we can use leaves in order to make ourselves water instead of uh, going through the fluid transposer and using saplings. Now, I don't think, I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure that uh, we can't use uh, leaves in here. Oh, oh, we can. That's kind of cool. Now, although we can do it, I'm not going to. And the reason for that is because we don't have a source of power. And this is pretty much free. We just have to put stuff in here and let it do its thing. So I'm going to leave this to do it in here. We can just fill up a bunch more like that. We should probably... I don't know if it has to be above a source block or just above a, some of the blazing pyrothium. Because if it just has to be above the pyrothium, we can make a couple of these. But for now, I'll just leave that like that. Fill that up some more. Jeez, this stuff's burning me. I'm going to have to go get in the water. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. No, I'm not going to die. It's fine. I'm, I'm, I've got a heat stroke again. I have. Jeez, I don't even know how you get heat stroke. Uh, either way, we do need some more water. Jeez, come on. Okay, let's fill this up. <laughs> fill that up like this. And then as soon as that turns to dirt, we can make a dirt bottle of water again like this. Smelt that up and we should be good to go. Oh, look, we got, one. we got one already. Cool. Uh, we'll do this. And... Nice. Okay. So I'll fill this up as well. Thank you very much. Throw that back on our backs. And things should be good to go. So another thing that I want to set up is some automated uh, sifting. I would like to set up uh, an automated sifting system. Now, the way I plan to do this is using the autonomous activator we were given the other day. I'm just going to quickly turn that sound down just a little bit. And what we can do is we can put this down here. I think we put it down like this. Oh, no. Okay. We can use the wrench to turn it around. That's fine. So you want the orange facing the back like that. And what we could do is we can put the uh, the dust in there, simulate a right click, and it will sit there and sieve through for us, which is pretty cool. Now we can use this. Uh, if we set redstone control to high, it's going to stop it. And it's going to require a redstone signal to run. Now the only downside is you can see like stuff like this just sort of sits around and doesn't go anywhere because we don't have enough space in our inventory to get it all. And at the moment, we have no way of getting that into a chest. Now what we can do is make ourselves what's called a vacuum hopper from, I believe it's open blocks, this thing here. And this will pick up any blocks within a certain area. Now, it does require an ender pearl, so we do have to watch out for that. And we don't have an ender pearl at the moment. So we can't really set this up just yet. And it's kind of, we need to expand our base. This is very cramped in here. But uh, as soon as we get ourselves a, a vacuum hopper, as soon as we get ourselves an ender pearl, we should be able to set up an automated sift uh, system of sifting through this, uh, this dust, which will make our lives a lot easier. So... Let's go ahead and grab our bucket of water 
add a bit more stuff to here. What we could also do, actually, what we could do, which should probably be a bit more uh, efficient for now, would be to pick this up and go and put it down by that. Um, let me get rid of some stuff. And instead, go put it down by the crucible outside and fill it with leaves. That way, leaves will be constantly added to it, and we should be we should we don't have to come over here all the time to get water. So I'll put you down like that. Spin you around. Like there we go. Fill you up with leaves, and you should sit there and put those into there. Now, I'm not sure if this thing can hold more than one bucket's worth of water. Uh, I haven't really checked, so I'm guessing we're about to find out. Uh, oh god, get in the water. Get in the water. There we go. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so now we've got ourselves two buckets of water, so we can get ourselves uh, quite a bit of clay, and we should be able to start making some stuff. So we got. Uh, I'll turn all these into into um, clay balls. It's just easier. Grab all of you. Grab all of you. We can make ourselves a little bit of grout, uh, and by a little bit I mean two pieces, which we can start smelting up. And whilst we're waiting for that, what we should do is. Get this guy and just start doing a few more of these like this. So we'll get our hammer. We'll break this down a little bit. We should probably invest in a better hammer, um, like a, an iron hammer or something like that. But we've got a lot of cobblestone and we we, we we can wait. We can be patient, can't we? We'll make a bit more sand. How much? We've got 11, 11 uh, clay, so this should be fine. Do all that. And then we can make a little bit more. That gets us 10. Now, I think we are going to need quite a bit of this. So we are probably going to have to wait for a couple of cycles of, uh, of this um, leaf thing up here to finish. Can it hold more than one bucket, uh, bottle worth? It can. Nice. So we can just come over here whenever we want. Grab ourselves one of these. Throw that in there. And using the dust, make ourselves a little bit more clay, which we can turn into clay balls. And then craft with sand and gravel to make more stuff, which is pretty flipping awesome. So I'm going to make a few more of... Oops, Jeez, we should. I'm covering this up, guys. <laughs> I'm not risking falling in that hole and dying in the flipping lava with all of our stuff. That would be, if we lost everything we had right now, that would pretty much be game over. We, we, we'd just be game over. <laughs> There'd be no coming back from that. So we'll get all this. Uh, another thing we can do if we do get enough autonomous activators is we can automate this, what we're doing right now. This, uh, this breaking of cobblestone into gravel and then gravel into sand. And we can do that by putting these, um, putting the hammer into the autonomous activator. And then instead of simulating a right click, we'll just simulate a left click by switching this around. And then it'll start to break it instead of uh, right clicking it, which would, of course, make it... Jeez, we should probably go to sleep as well. Which would, of course, break down the uh, the cobblestone. It's not incredibly fast. We're going to wait for this because it's going to it's nighttime soon. We'll break the clay. Ta da! Get quite a bit of that stuff now. Okay, we'll go to sleep before the mobs start. We should probably actually go out and kill some mobs. That is something else I want to do. I'll probably go make an obsidian sword so that we can get ourselves the this quest over here because the night fight quest actually gives us the reward of an ender pearl, which would allow us to make the vacuum hopper and would make our life so much easier. Now, the good news is that the autonomous activators are not all that hard to make. Uh, unlike in Agrarian Skies, where it requires like diamonds and emeralds, they have left the default uh, recipe here. So all we need is a wood, which is a bunch of... Um, a chest, sorry, which is a bunch of wood. Uh, a machine frame, which is... The, the recipe has changed for this. So we do need Invar, Electrum, and a piece, uh, PRC sock thing, which is plastic. Okay, yeah, it's kind of... What the heck is it? Okay, well, well, well <laughs> Jeez. All right, I'm pretty sure all that stuff that we just saw, that I have not a clue in my mind what it is. I'm pretty sure most of that is from um, Pneumatic Craft, which we do get onto in the Under Pressure section uh, of this mod pack. It's pretty, pretty heavily based on around Pneumatic Craft. So anyway, we've got ourselves quite a bit of seared brick here. And if we look at the quest book, we could probably get quite a few of these. So the smeltery controller, it looks something like this. That's smeltery controller. How are we doing for water? We're doing okay. Let's add some more to there. We're doing all right. So that's the smeltery controller. The, what else do we need? The controller, we need a brick, a faucet, and a drain. Now, I'm not sure what does a drain need. The drain requires six. Okay, so... We could get ourselves a faucet and uh, a seared brick, I think, because that will require seven. So we'll do that. We'll get ourselves a faucet and one seared brick. So now we only need a seared tank and a smeltery drain, which we do have four. As soon as this one's finished, we can get the smeltery drain. And then I think the seared tank requires six as well as some glass. Oh, no, I think it requires eight. I think it's a, a circle with um, a piece of glass in the middle, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So we need eight more. So we've got we've got six. We can do this. 
And now we need seven more because that will take us up to, including this one, that will get us everything we need. So we'll grab a few of these, start cooking those up, and we will head on outside and get a few more of these going. Uh, surprisingly enough, clay has not been the issue here. We have probably more than enough clay to do what we need to do. So actually, I'm going to go quickly stop those leaves because I'd like to use those for water if we don't have to waste them. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> We've just got two and a half buckets of, wa of, <laughs> of water in there. Uh, we can still use that water, obviously, to uh, to get us um, stuff, but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So we'll break all this. We will turn some of that. How many did we need? We've got eight of that, so we should probably get eight more. Is that eight? Maybe. We'll get eight more of these, then we'll break eight of the 16 gravel that we have into sand. Combine that with the eight uh, gravel, sand, and clay, and we should be able to make ourselves uh, everything we need. And the reward for this quest is some more seared bricks. So I'm hoping that will give us enough to um, to set up the smeltery in its entirety. So we'll finish like that. Turn all this into sand. We do, oh, luckily enough, we do actually have what we did. We did one extra, which gives us one extra piece of sand, which we can then smelt into glass. So let's get rid of, uh, I kind of want to keep everything. We'll move the cobblestone for now and um, we'll come back out and get that in a second. We'll start one of, actually, we'll combine all you guys up like that. Smelt you, and then we will put you in there. We don't really need that wooden chest plate because our camel pack just, like, takes up all of our space. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of a thing. And I think we should be pretty good to go. So, we'll wait for that to finish, and then we can move on. We do have a mighty smelting book, which is very nice. All right, so what's next up on the quest list? So once we finish this... We move on to what looks like the uh, the high oven from uh, Tinker's Construct, which I never really... You can use it to make steel, which we might need for pneumatic craft. I'm not sure. I haven't really played with it all that much. Uh, we might need that. I'm not 100% sure. Hunger Games. We should probably work on that. Uh, getting this thing. Is this done? It's not. But we can bone meal it. Is this working? Okay, we got four rice. So I guess it's working. How do we get... Oh, okay. Do we have to break it to get rice seeds? I think we do. What we'll do is we'll pull this down here. We'll go this, bone meal, bone meal, break. There we go. This, bone meal, bone meal, break. And rinse and repeat. This, there we go. We'll, we'll have this quest done in no time. We are running quite low on bone meal here, which is something I don't want to do, really. But the good news is that we, um, we, uh, we can just uh, sift through this, um, this dust in order to get more bone meal, which is quite nice. Uh, hopefully this will give us 10. I, I have a feeling it won't, so that's a shame, but it might have done. <laughs> Do we have any more, maybe? Possibly? Just, just a No? Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think it's like 20% chance of getting um, uh, bone meal when we sift through this, so it's not too bad. We, uh, we should be able to get some more pretty easily. We can just do this again. And break. That gets us nine. Oh, we're so close. So close. I think one more loop of that should, uh, should, uh, should do it for us. So we'll try it one more time. Come on, let's see one more piece of bone meal. Or two. Two more pieces of bone meal. That's one. Can we make that two, please? Is that another stone? I mean, we don't really need stones right now, so it's kind of pointless, but it's kind of cool if it is another piece of stone. Look at all this junk because it's just stockpiling up on top here. Jeez. There we go. We got our second piece of bone meal. We'll just leave all that stuff out there for now. We'll go boom, boom, break it. That gets us ten. Nice. So... We should be able to now hand in that quest. Let's see if I can... We need another chest. Flipping, flipping space is something we do not have. Let's get another chest. Let's put you down like... Up. Oh, I don't even know where we could put this thing anymore. We'll put it up there. Why not? Oh, we can't even open that. Um, um, let's... Here we go. Here, we, we, we've got this. We've got this. Don't know why I got my pickaxe out. That doesn't help at all, but it's fine. We'll put it, like, above our heads. I, we'll put it there. That works. Right, let's, I'm just going to dump all that into there for now. Okay. <laughs> we don't need it all just yet. Right, let's grab you. Let's make ourselves... Let's smelt up one piece of sand to get ourselves some glass. And then we can kill two birds with one stone and get two quests done in one. Uh, do we get a rice seed back for this? I kind of hope we do. Uh, we get a cop. We don't. Ah, oh, that's a shame. So we're going to have to do this one more time because uh, otherwise we're going to be all out of rice seeds, which is something I... Is it a manual submit or a... It's a submit, so we got to hand it in. So I do want to get myself uh, another rice seed before we end this. Otherwise, we're not going to have any rice. We're just going to give away all of our rice, which is something I, I don't want to do. 
But before we do that, we can finish this other quest. We can go glass in the middle. Seared bricks all around. And tank. Nice. And then we can uh, claim this quest. We're going to take... We'll take some clay. I don't see what we're going to need bricks for, but we probably will do. Old school. There we go. Nice. So we should have pretty much everything we need. Now we'll take all you and you and you guys. And we'll see if we can set up a, uh, a basic smeltery. Let's have a look. Do we, do we have everything we need? The answer is probably not, but we'll find out. So we'll set it up somewhere like just... Oh, gosh. I'm walking very slowly. We got heat struck because... Oh, God. We're out of water. Okay. This is not good. Being out of water is somewhere I do not want to be. Uh, let's do the thing again with the leaves. Did we... I'm sure we smelted up some muddy water somewhere. Apparently not. All right. Okay. Be that way then. Um, <laughs> um, can I pull water straight out of this barrel? That's a question I want to ask. I can, and that gets us... Okay, so it does take a full... Uh, it does take a full bucket of water to do it, but we do get a bottle of water, which is quite nice. So we'll combine that with our camel pack to give us a little bit more water, hopefully enough to get us to the end of the episode and build this uh, this smeltery. So we'll get a little 3x3 three three dugout down here. I think we're going to need a few more of these bricks because then we're going to have a smeltery controller. We've got to have a drain with a faucet on. Casting table can go down there, but that's fine. We've got the casting table. And yes, yeah, so we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more bricks, which is kind of annoying. We can make two more <laughs> with what we've got. So we can go one, two, and then we need a few more to finish this up. So how are we doing for clay and and such? We've got one piece of clay. Uh, one, oh, we've got, we've got quite a bit of clay. Okay. Uh, we've got a little bit of cobblestone and some other stuff. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to sift through a little bit more of this, get myself some bone meal, and I think what I'm going to do is between this episode and next, I will um, break a bit more cobblestone, get some more sand, get some more gravel, make some more grout, smelt it up, make some more seared bricks, and then finish up the smeltery. And next episode, what we can actually start doing is we could start, we don't have to, instead, like usually what we'd have to do is say grab uh, four of these for iron, craft them together into a block and then smelt them. What we can do in the smelt tray is just put those straight into the smelt tray and two of these should get as a piece of iron. So it is effectively doubling uh, all the stuff that we get, which is pretty flipping cool. So we got ourselves one piece of bone meal. Let's see if we can quickly grab ourselves a second. Maybe, please. Bone meal. Jeez, that took a long time, but we've got one. We'll throw all of that. Oh, we don't, we don't have space to throw that anymore. Let's just quickly craft you and you. And then smelt that up. Go out to bed. <laughs> Go to bed. And then what we can do is we can get ourselves one more piece of rice, hand that in. And then I think we should be good to go. So let's grab rice seed down. Burn meal, burn meal. Grab. I guess it's 11. Good stuff. We'll then grab the quest book and the rest of the rice seeds and hand those guys in. So we'll click start. We're halfway through the first section, which is quite good. We'll hand that in, manually submit, and we get ourselves some toast, some orange saplings, which I'm assuming are going to give us oranges, which is pretty flipping cool. So let's see. Does that give us... Oh, did we claim reward? Oh, we had to pick one. Um, um, I really want the cold water, but I think we're okay for water. So I'm going to go with... Ooh, cotton. I'm going to go with cotton. No, I'm not going to go with cotton. Cotton gets us a nice supply of string and stuff, but we can do that with trees already. So I'm going to go with... Yeah, I'm going to go with cotton. There we go. Okay, Whew. we've got ourselves we've got ourselves a little bit more food. We've got 10. And we can plant these oranges, and hopefully that'll grow at some point, because we don't have any bone meal. And when that does, we should then have a nice supply of oranges that we can eat, which is pretty cool. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like, as always. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.